you guys to know that when you have a man who knows who he is without you, that will be one of the most scariest experiences for you. Cut that off. Mm. Wait a minute. We gon' we gonna we gonna we gonna let it rock. I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm prepared for that one. I don't think I'll prepare for that one. Hold on. Let me get right. Let me get right. Let me get let me get, let me get again. All right. Because you found your value in what you can be for him. Mm. And when he's already learned how to be all of that without you, it calls you to a higher level within yourself. Mm. Because now you don't get to hide your insecurities behind doing for him. He can do that for himself. Mm. You don't have to hide all your fears and getting his approval. He has his own approval. Mm. Dating him will be the most scariest experience for you because it requires you to confront yourself. There's a different level of depth that comes with a man who is healed. Y'all see, y'all see her upcoming show. So y'all go out there and support this woman. She's speaking. I'm gonna leave it up. Hold on, we want it. We want it. Y'all see it. We're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna leave it like that. Y'all see it. She's speaking. Get your tickets. Do y'all understand the level? Because people, well, well people don't realize why y'all are dating. You think that person likes you, they just really into you, but the in reality, they just running from themselves. That's all they doing. You think he or she is just, oh my God, they just, they just doing all this for me. They just they there for me. But you've yet see them there for themselves. They're so, they're so, some people call it love bombing or whatever the case is. They are running from themselves by trying to focus all of their time and energy on you. See, a lot of times this comes with people who are consistently in relationships, consistently always dating somebody, consistently trying to get, you know, communicate or converse with somebody. They rarely take time to themselves. They rarely take, you know, moments. And I, I'm, and I wrote this in my book. Uh, y'all yeah, can't see. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me take y'all for a second. I wrote this in my book a while back. Wasting, I, I said people don't waste time in relationships. People waste time when they're single. When, you, when you're single and you should be working on yourself, trying to work out your kinks, understand what your, 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 flaw, your faults, your flaws, where you or your shortcomings, instead of you understanding these things while you're single, you, you, you just waste time. You waste so much time. And you get with somebody and you don't know how to do none of the things that you were supposed to knew, know how to do. You got the same baggage you had in the last relationship, the last relationship, the relationship before that one. You got the same baggage. You haven't fixed anything. And people tend to just push onto other people so they don't have to confront themselves. A lot of women are intimidated by me once they get in front of me. Now, y'all can feel how y'all feel in the comments. I know my personal life, my private life. And women are face to face with me when they can't hit me with the same two step they hit all these other guys with. They see certain things are not working. And I've had lots of women tell me this, that I'm very intimidating because I'm so sure of myself. I'm so confident in myself. I <laughs> Things that most guys don't have or most guys don't do, I'm doing and it's making them have to look at themselves. It's making them have to. Well, I can't do this for him. I can't do this for him. I can't do what what can I do? What you can do is do for yourself, baby. I'm I I'm, I already got me. I already got me. And I appreciate you trying to have me too. It's going it's going it's going to become a time where I need you to have me too. It's going I'm I'm going to need you at some point, for sure. But every day I don't need you to have me, baby. I need you to have you. Cuz when you good and I'm good, we gonna be good together. Too many people be trying to pour into everybody else, but never pour into themselves. And I always tell people this: folks, How can I? Women ask me all the time, "How how I know if he love me? <laughs> how do I know if he really into me?" You have to know you to know that. The only way for you to to know if he really is 
is in love with you or really wants you, you have to know you. If you know surface level things about yourself that can go for anybody, let me give you an example. See, women going to disagree with this, but the women who are trying to learn, they going to learn. Surface level things. And this is what I used to tell women when I, when I was out here running game on them. I, 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 I really like you. I ain't going to lie. You like me? What you like about me? I like the fact you got good head on your shoulders. I love the fact that, you know, you ain't out here playing no games. You know what I'm saying? You serious. You ain't you ain't just just trying. You ain't out here just trying to use dudes. You ain't got time for folks out here playing. You don't want your time wasted. I ain't trying to waste my time. These streets don't love nobody, and you ain't in these streets. I love the fact that you work. You take care of your kids. Your kid, and you love your kids. You don't play about your kids. I love that because too many women out here, there's so many women out here who they, they kids doing whatever. Basically, just feeding your ego. That's that's surface level things that can go for anybody. Anybody who believes that's the some surface level things, and you would think he really likes you. Some of the things I just said can go for every woman who watched this video. So y'all believe that surface level stuff about y'all self. And you think that's you, and it's not really you, baby. You have to really get to a different level of understanding with you and within you for you to understand what you truly bring to a man. And a lot of times, ladies, y'all will say it. I bring me to a man. But the person you bring in is not somebody you identify to. You don't know that person. So the person you think you bring in is not the person he has to deal with, which is why y'all don't go too far. Because who, what you think you're showing him is not what you really are showing him. Come on, man. Yeah, she just spoke on that one. Yeah, she just spoke. It's a different level. It is a different level of intimacy. It's a different level of understanding when you get with somebody who is healed and don't need somebody to heal them. There's so many broken people out here to where we need people to fix us and all this, then the third. Oh. Even with somebody who already right there at that point, it's, it's scary because it make you tighten up. 